Module four, lesson two. Our objective is to interpret a fraction as division. So we're gonna look at this division problem here and we have three divided by nine. Well, you see normally our dividend is larger than our divisor. Usually we have something like nine divided by three, which will give us three. Here, we know that this is gonna give us less than a whole. And the directions tell us to draw a picture that shows the division expression and then we're going to write an equation and solve. So let's go ahead and create the picture. So here's our picture. I have three items, my three rectangles, one, two, three, and each rectangle is split into nine parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could look at this as 3 divided by 9 or 27 ninths divided by 9. Let's go ahead and look at it that way. If we had 3 divided by 9, we know that if we had three of these groups and we gave nine people, first person would get the first column, second person would get the second column, and all the way throughout, and all the way out to the last person, the ninth person, getting the last three in this column here. So we know that 3 divided by 9 is going to give us 3 ninths. Look at our pattern. Dividend is our numerator. Our division sign is our fraction bar. And our divisor is our denominator. The other way, if we counted up all of these 9 times 3, we know it's 27. So we could also say 27 ninths divided by 9 is equal to 3 ninths apiece. All right, looking at B here, we have 4 divided by 3. We would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's equal to 12 thirds divided by 3, which is 4 thirds. Same thing. We have our dividend as our numerator, and our fraction bar is equal to our division sign, and then our divisor is our denominator. So let's take a look at that here. If these were all the same type of crackers or whatever we're dividing, whatever four items we're dividing by three, we could say, well, these first four from here to here, that can go to the first person, the first number one of the three. Then the second four, one, two, three, four, can go to number two. Then the third four, one, two, three, four, can go to person number three. So if you notice, each person got four thirds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four for number two. One, two, three, four for number three. All right. Another way that we can write four thirds is equal to, well, we know three thirds is one whole. So if we take one whole away, we have one third remaining. Either answer is acceptable. So let's take a look at the second part here. And let's say that if I did it another way, what if I just wanted to give this whole cracker to number one, this whole cracker to number two, this whole cracker to number three, then I have one cracker left. Now, if you notice, this cracker is split into thirds, so everybody has their hole already. That's the one hole, and now everybody would get that's number one, number two, number three. Everybody would get an additional third. And that's the same answer. They would get one hole, one hole for number one, plus one third for number one. One hole for number two, plus one third for number two. One hole for number three, plus one third for number three. So depending on what the question asks you, you can do it either way. In this case, either way would be fine. All right, let's take a look at the bottom um, question here. Let's fill in the blanks to make true number sentences. We have 21 divided by eight. Well, I know that that's gonna be 21 as a numerator and eight as my denominator. Remember, the division sign is equal to your fraction bar. So that is equal to 21 divided by eight or 21 eighths. Same thing here, we have seven fourths. We know that that's seven divided by four. Letter C is four divided by nine. Well, we know that that's gonna be four ninths. And D, this is where it gets a little complicated. A lot of people are looking at this mixed number and getting confused. Just remember, one is equal to what? Well, it's equal to anything over itself. 
So because my unit is sevenths, I know that I'm going to make this one seven sevenths. Then I have seven sevenths plus my two sevenths equals how many sevenths? Hopefully you said nine sevenths. So I have nine divided by seven. And that is how we would interpret our fractions as division. Hopefully that was helpful. Go ahead and watch the video again. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment or when I see you in class. Thank you so much.